Hey, how are ya? We just got back from a screen at the good old Chinese theater. We saw The Watchmen by a good young kid named Zack Snyder. So this was Warner Brothers' tentpole picture of the spring. And what a tentpole! Dr. Manhattan's long is longer than the Panama Canal. King Kong himself couldn't scale that erection. They say Dr. Manhattan's lost touch with humanity and that he's heartless. Heartless? You're right about that. He walks around in his birthday suit letting all the dames know what he's got and their hubbies at home don't. Now I thought that comedian would have me over in stitches like the good old Charlie Chaplin, but boy was I wrong. You know you're right. With a name like that, I thought he'd be the top banana. Top banana? Are we talking about Dr. Manhattan again? Now let's move on to the hanky-panky between Silk Spectre 2 and Night Owl 2. These two lovers get their kicks from giving kicks. The criminals' faces. Yeah, and then they have their way with each other in the owl ship at the top of the clouds. Those two better be careful, because their dirty deeds can be seen a lot closer and a lot easier by little baby Jesus being that high up in there. Let's talk about that private gumshoe, Rorschach. Rorschach? You should have seen how the girls used to see me in the clubs back in the Roaring Twenties. Now that's Rorschach. So tell me, Harold, where do you place the Watchmen? Mr. Smith goes to Washington, Gone with the Wind, Citizen Kane, or Casablanca? Well, girl Maximilian, I know that Zack Snyder is no Orson Welles, but I'm gonna have to go with good old Citizen Kane. What do you think, old buddy? I'm with ya. From low Toronto, with their hair in ribbons and legs in tags.